Yo guys, what's going on? It's Henrik, the Lawn Care Kid here, back with another video. And by popular request, you guys are asking to see a Chevy versus Ford video, and that's what we're gonna do today. Right behind me, I have my 2011 Chevy 2500. This has 6.6 .6 liter Duramax in it. And then this right here is the 2011 Ford F250 with the 6.7 Power Stroke. So this is pretty much apples to apples they're both long bed extended cab trucks they both have diesels and they're both from 2011 i don't think it gets much more uh, comparable than that so these trucks are very similar to each other just different brands and i'm going to tell you which one i personally like better for work so as a lot of you guys know i bought this truck just over a year ago and i've only had this one for about three or four months so both of these trucks have been great to me so far, but there's a lot of little quirks and features on both trucks that I like and dislike. So I'm gonna tell you which one I prefer, and I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I'm a Chevy guy at heart, so I'm not trying to be biased at all, but these are my straight opinions, right? So this truck, I love it. As you guys can tell, we got a snow plow on it. We also have a plow for that Ford, as you guys can see the mount up front. So both of them plow snow, right? Um, we actually had our first snow event yesterday. As you guys can tell, we do have some snow on the ground, but Chevy versus Ford. Let's start off with the interior of these trucks. So real quick, this is the Chevy here. Um, so both of these trucks are the lowest trim you can get. The Chevy is a WT and the Ford is an XL. So they're both low trim models. Obviously this one has the convenience package with the power windows and all that. But this is what the inside of the truck looks like not too bad um definitely plenty of plenty of room but here's the thing the visibility in the chevy is terrible compared to the ford looking out the back window it's really hard everything about the chevy is really hard to see out of and it doesn't help that i have it all tinted out but still the visibility in the chevy sucks i'm gonna shoot it straight with you let's hop over to the ford i'll show you guys what the interior is like on the ford and then we're gonna talk about towing power and all that all right so here's the inside of the ford as you guys can tell it's just it's a lot more open right like there's just a lot more room in here which is something i like and i like how the windows sit lower you have better visibility out the back and all that so personally if you're plowing with an extended cab i would go with the ford because you can see so much more out of this truck the back windshield is a lot bigger than this one on the Chevy. So let's uh, let's let's talk about engines. So 6.6 .6 liter Duramax and 6.7 liter Power Stroke, both are great engines. Don't get me wrong. This truck right here has about 74,000 miles, and this one has about 180,000. And they're both workhorses. Don't get me wrong. Um, they both tow skid steers. They both tow dump trailers. And I've had no problems with any of them, but I'm gonna shoot it straight with you. Honestly, I think the Ford tows trailers better. I'm gonna, I'm being honest. Like if you're gonna tow a skid steer or something heavy, I think the Ford, it just rides a lot more stiff. So I think that actually helps out with towing, but here's the downside of that. When you're driving down the road or on the highway with an empty load on the Ford, dude, it, rides so bad it's like riding a brick i'm serious like it's the roughest ride you're always bouncing it's terrible compared to the chevy the chevy rides really nice so i like that um but the chevy has the independent front end and then the ford has the solid front end so if you want to put it in four-wheel drive you have to lock your hubs here if you guys know both of these trucks are tuned and deleted therefore there's no emissions on them and that makes it more apples to apples. So let's talk about fuel mileage real quick on the Duramax. So this thing going down the highway, you're probably getting, I don't know, probably right around 17 or so. Not too bad, right? Um, I think that's an, at an average of 65 miles per hour. Cruising in the Ford, I think it's getting, um, I don't know, right around 20. So that's not too bad for a big diesel truck. Like, you know, either one of these 17 mile, miles per gallon and 20 that's pretty damn good um so fuel economy they're both pretty good on fuel all right now let's talk about looks so both of these trucks are 
work truck models, both trim, the lowest trim possible. What do you guys think looks better? I think the Ford looks like a good, mean work truck, but I think the Chevy just looks a little nicer, a little more classy, a little more bougie, <laughs> right? So I know it's not all about looks, right? It's about functionality. Both of these trucks run great with no problems. Let's, uh, let's throw the key in and we're gonna get it started. pretty quiet this truck has a five inch straight pipe on it but it's got a nice growl to it but dude this thing pushes out a ton of torque it will literally plow two feet of snow no problems whatsoever um another thing with the chevy versus the ford it's the transmission the allison transmission on the chevy is way smoother way better than whatever is on the ford and that's not biased at all. <laughs> this Ford shifts like, you know what, I, you know what I'm gonna say. It shifts really, really terribly. Um, in the Chevy, it shifts really, really well. But you can't really beat that. Sounds good. So in conclusion, I would say both of these trucks are phenomenal trucks. They both get the job done. They both haul trailers. They both plow snow. It's just, it's your, it's your personal preference, right? And that's why I wanted to buy a Ford. It's because I was always making fun of Ford and saying how bad they are. But until I bought one, it really wasn't that bad. And so far, I'm, obviously I haven't had it for too long, but it's been a great experience. It tows trailers and it gets it done. It's a work truck. It doesn't have to be anything too fancy. The Chevy also gets it done. Both great trucks. So if you guys are looking to buy a work truck, whatever you prefer, honestly, I'm a Chevy guy. I think I like the Duramax better. I think the Duramax engine is more simple, more easier to work on compared to this Ford. The Ford, it's a lot more complex, um, especially when you're doing maintenance compared to the Chevy. Um, but I'm not gonna get into all of that. Honestly, both great trucks. So if you guys are looking to buy a new work truck, Ford, Chevy, Dodge, I think every truck nowadays, every truck brand, they make, they all make good trucks. So I don't know how much you guys got out of this video, but I wanted to keep you guys updated. I want to keep posting uh, every few days here on the YouTube channel because a lot of you guys support me and a lot of you guys want to watch and see my content. So if you guys have any recommendations for new video uploads or ideas, comment down below. Let me know what you guys want to see on the YouTube channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.